Alrighty guys, in today's video we're going to be looking at part number 39 from our advanced flat parts. But before that, let's have a quick intro first. So today's video can be found on softwaretraining.co.za. We make short and easy to watch problem solving videos and we also have daily updates. Otherwise we're back into the program here. Now, in today's part, this is going to be a bit of a rectangle with chamf uh, chamfering on the edges and then I guess a circle cutout. But the thing that makes this one different is that the circle will not automatically be centered like in a lot of these shapes over here. But you're going to actually have to set the center yourself. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to flat part and then we're going to go to P39 and then from my little preview um, box here let's just look what we can set so we've got a which once again is the width we've got b which is the height then we have d which is the actual diameter of the circle cutout and then you will notice we've got s which this is the chamfering for the corners the edges so times four and it's at a 40 i mean times 45 degrees but it is for all four of them and then we've got the location of your um, circle cutout, which is X and Y. But as you guys can see, this measures X measures from the left to the center of your circle and Y from the bottom to the center of the circle. So it is possible to have this circle off centered if you need that in your design. So that's something that's quite handy with this shape. So let's go once again, I'm gonna go 200 by 200. Let's make the Where's our D? I'm gonna make this 100. And then our chamfering on the corners, so that'll be S. Let's make this about 30. And then X and Y I'm gonna set, so keep in mind, like I said, it is to the actual center of the circle. So uh, to get that spacing right, just um, make sure you set that relevant. So I'm gonna go 100 by 100. And let me just preview this, see what we've got. So we go, it's a pretty classic. We've got a nice centered circle. But I think for this example, let's take a cent, uh, the circle maybe higher. Let's go about 150 and we see what that looks like. It's maybe just too much. So I'm just gonna set this down a bit. So instead of 150, let's make it about 120. Preview that and there we go. Now we can, when we see our preview, we can see it's off centered. So we don't think it's just one of those generic shapes with a generic cutout in the center. I'm gonna go manual quantity one, say add, and then we add this part to our actual cutout. So as you can see now, keep in mind, obviously you can set it horizontal and vertical as cutout. So that means you can put a top right corner if you wanted to, bottom left, just straight at the bottom, um, which is uh, quite convenient. But yeah, otherwise, that is it on P39. If uh, we had to head here to softwaretraining.co.za, you guys will notice we've got a variety of different softwares we do cover and you can also isolate your search on the top right if you do not however find the training videos you're looking for just simply go here request the training video fill in the mini form and then we'll do our best to try and make that for you but otherwise thanks guys for watching and cheers